Vincent and Cheska, please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Good morning, class! Okay, so before we start our class, can you please arrange your seats and I'll be checking your attendance. Can you say present if your name is called? Perfect. Let us give our hands a round of applause because we got a perfect attendance for today. How was your weekend class? That's good to hear. And now before we start, let me introduce Ms. Anjali Bahian. She will be joining our class for today. Let us clap our hands for Miss Anjali. And now let us start with our lesson. Can I ask three volunteers? You are going to complete the phrases presented on the board. Anyone? Okay, Brian. Yes, Francis. I still need one. Leia. Okay, come in front. Let us give hands for Francis, Brian, and Leia. And now. I will be needing another set of three volunteers. Okay, what you are going to do is you identify which sentence expresses permission, obligation, and prohibition. Anyone? Yes, princess. Toby. One last. Carl. Okay. And now, can you please underline the keywords that help you to identify which sentence expresses permission, obligation, and prohibition? Please underline. Okay. Excellent. Let us clap our hands for Princess Toby and Carl. Class, do you know what are the underlying words are called? Anyone who has an idea? No. It's called model verbs. And that is the topic for today's lesson. 
And our objectives are, kindly read with me. First, differentiate sentences that express permission, obligation, and prohibition. Second, identify models of permission, obligation, and prohibition in sentences. Third and last, use models of permission, obligation, and prohibition appropriately in sentences using visual cues, situations, and relevant issues. What is model verbs? Anyone who has any idea? Okay, model verbs are used to express certain hypothetical conditions, such as advice, capability, and requests. They are used alongside a main verb to change the meaning slightly because they are auxiliary verbs, they can't necessarily be used on their own. And a model verb should only appear alone in if it is clear from context what the main verb is. Model verbs are quite common in English. And you've probably seen them hundreds of times without knowing actually their name. And I have here on the board the most frequently used model verbs. Can you read with me? Can, may, might, could, should, would, will, and must. There are more model verbs, although the ones on the board are the most common. Some model verbs are outdated and rarely used, like shall and ought to, while others are more colloquial, such as got to, need to, or have to. And some express very specific conditions that don't come up often, like dare, for example, I dare say. The phrase used to, as in I used to be an English student too, also behaves like a model verb. Here are the three types of model verbs. The first one is permission. The most common model verbs about permission are can, could, may, and might. On the board, I have some examples. Kindly read with me. Can I sit here? Is it a informal or formal way of asking for permission very good it is informal the next one is you can can't sit here is it a formal or an informal way of giving permission very good it is still informal way of giving permission and the third one could I use this chair? Is it informal or formal? Perfect. It is a formal way of giving permission. It is more politely. And the fourth one, you may use this chair. Is it informal or formal giving of permission? Excellent. It is a formal way of giving permission. And the fifth one, might, may I use this chair? Is it formal or informal asking for permission? Okay, it is more formal way of asking per, for permission. And the next one, Sorry, you can't use this chair. How about that? Is it informal or formal? Very good. It is an informal way of refusing permission. And the last one. Sorry, you may not use this chair. Is it formal or informal? Great. It is formal way of refusing permission. The next type of model verb is obligation. We also have must not and don't have to. These are the negative forms that are totally different. Must not is used to express prohibition. It 
an obligation not to do something whereas don't have to is used to express an absence of obligation so we have some examples you must not reveal where you get the information so you have the obligation not to um, reveal or say anything about where did you get the information and next one is you don't have to arrive before seven so you can do it but it's not necessary there's no obligation you can arrive anytime you want just before seven and the last type of model verb is prohibition can't and mustn't or must not are used to show that something is prohibited or it expresses prohibition for example you can't go into the restaurant without a tie you can't drive in this country unless you are 18 years old and you must not use your phone in class can't usually gives the idea of something that it is against the rules and must not usually means that it is the speaker who is giving the rules now that you know the three types of model verbs can you please give me examples on each type of model verbs anyone yes maria very good let us clap our hands for maria i want an example for the obligation who can give me yes toby perfect let us clap our hands for toby and for the last type who can give me examples for prohibition I need one last example. Okay, Brian. Excellent. Let us clap our hands for Brian. Great. Now that you understand what is model verbs and what are the three types of model verbs, Ms. Anjali Bahian will now take over the class. Class, behave and please participate. Okay. Yes, Ms. Anjali, please. Hello, everyone. Sis. Model verbs were already discussed earlier. We will have a group activity. This is to ensure that everyone understands the lesson. Kindly group yourselves into four. Go to your groups, please. Each group, I will give specific topic. For group one, your topic will be COVID-19. For group 2, your topic will be balsa. Group 3, your topic will be waste management. And group 4, your topic will be online class. Each group will create a list of 10 rules and regulations about models of obligation models of permission and models of prohibition write your output in a one half sheet of paper and I will go only give you 10 minutes to finish that activity and you have to make sure that each one of the group will understand what you are doing because I will select one of each group to present your topic in front and here's the criteria for your activity organization of ideas five points and correct usage of modal 10 points a total of 15 points your 10 minutes starts now
Time's up? Okay, class. May I call on the representative from group 1, EJ? Please come in front. Very good, EJ and group 1. A round of applause from group 1, please. Okay, next, group 2. Ara, come in front. Very good. A round of applause, please. Next, group 3. Okay, thank you. Very good. A round of applause, please. And lastly, group 4. Thank you, EJ. A round of applause, please. Okay, class, how was your activity? Do you know, do you understand now what is modal verb? What have you learned? Now, class, kindly define the types of modal verbs that were discussed earlier and explain how it being used. Yes, Anna? Impressive. Since everyone in the class already understand the lesson, please prepare for a test. And please, do not forget to write your name and the date today. Kindly read also and follow the instructions carefully. For test 1, underline the models in the following sentences. For test 2, fill in the blanks the correct models of permission, obligation, and prohibition. I will give you only 20 minutes to finish this test. Time's up. Please pass your papers finished or not finished. For your assignment, please write in a one-half sheet of paper one modal of permission one modal of obligation, one modal of prohibition in each given situation like camping, traveling, and studying. Thank you very much for today, class, and I hope you learned something from the discussion. And thank you very much also for your cooperation, and have a nice day.